Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the net result of heat and humidity, scattered thunderstorms like we had in a few locations uh, just a few hours ago, and also poor air quality, air quality alert, poor air quality alert continues through 11 o'clock this evening. Take a look at the map, and you can see that uh, covering the entire area. So certainly respiratory-sensitive people with high concentrations of ground-level ozone just need to be mindful of this kind of take it easy. In the meantime, as far as storms, uh, for the most part, they have wind down. It wouldn't rule out an additional shower this evening, though at this point the chances are pretty small. Show you the visibilities in most areas are actually pretty good, but the humidity, as you know, is very high. It's very sticky outside, and that humidity will eventually transform into some patchy clouds and fog later tonight especially along the south shore. So be mindful of that heading towards places like Newport and the coastline. Doppler radar looking good just a few hours ago. Had some of those strong storms pass through. In fact, you take a look back and you can see them through the Providence metro area in Kent County. Areas to the north, nothing. Areas to the south, nothing. And right in this zone. This is pretty much the blueprint of who had the storms and the rain. This actually represents Doppler radar estimated uh, rainfall amounts. In some locations, you know, getting an inch, inch and a half of rain in just a 20 minute period as a result in this area had some uh, reports of localized minor street flooding, some minor wind damage, whether it be a tree limb or a power line. Uh, those storms are winding down. You see clouds and a little hazy sun in Warwick right now. Still very humid. So even though the temperature has cooled to 79 after topping out at 93, that humidity certainly makes it feel a little warmer outside. It's fairly quiet on the north. Satellite photo here in the northeast. Uh, storms erupting in upstate New York will uh, stay away. The heat expands all the way back through the Midwest. Cooler weather, northern plains, upper Great Lakes will actually stay up in Canada. We will stay in the heat pretty much right through uh, the upcoming coming weekend, especially Saturday, another day with temperatures close to 90. Again, outside chance of a passing shower this evening, though most of the time it's actually rain free. So heading out, it's warm and muggy, high humidity. Watch for coastal fog developing later in the evening and during the overnight hours. Temperatures falling into the 70s. Any early morning clouds tomorrow giving way to sunshine. Another morning with a rapid warm up. It won't take long for temps to be in the 80s to eventually around 90 tomorrow afternoon, but still some decent humidity levels. So it's rather muggy. Uh, hazy sunshine, better part of the day. The beaches are looking pretty good. Any early morning fog burning off to some sunshine. It's pretty warm, too. Air temperature 85, water temperature getting up there at the 71 degrees. Safe sun time, only 10 to 15 minutes. Sunglasses and sunscreen, a must. Seven-day future cast. It's borderline hot on Sunday. It may not hit 90, but, you know, 87. And then next chance for showers and thunderstorms, we're thinking Monday night into especially Tuesday. Temperatures next week are seasonably warm, though it does bounce back up towards the end of next week. Thursday and Friday, we're back up to the mid and uh, upper 80. So warm and sultry tonight, not much in the way of rain, just a small chance. Looks like a pretty solid beach weekend, though, for sure. Well, it's looking good on the water temperature finally warming up. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. More coverage.